airport security attempts to prevent any threats or potentially dangerous situations from arising or entering the country. As such, airport security serves several purposes. To protect the airport and country from any threatening events and to reassure the traveling public that they are safe. Our attention turns to airport security in the country, plus the ripple effects of the Turkey airport attack on other terminals across the globe. A warm welcome to Vision this week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Ketumbi. Let's get started with our background on the subject. Aviation is a huge part of the transportation industry. Its size, impact, integration and use by countries all over the world make it vulnerable to attacks. Over the years, persistent threats to aviation have become commonplace and may continue as long as there are people who want to cause harm to the industry. Recently, airports have become targets for terror. An airport is an aerodrome with facilities for flights to take off and land. Airports are divided into land side and air side. Land side includes parking lots, public transport stations and access roads. While the air side includes all areas accessible to aircraft, including runways and taxiways. Passage between land side and air side is usually tightly controlled at all airports. To access air side, one must go through passport control and security. This applies to everyone, including the staff. Large numbers of people pass through airports every day. This presents potential targets for terrorism and other forms of crime because of the number of people located in a particular location. Similarly, the high concentration of people on large airliners, the potential high death rate with attacks on aircraft, and the ability to use a hijacked airplane as a lethal weapon may provide an alluring target for terrorism. With this level of potential risk, security becomes more than necessary in the face of events like the Turkish airport tragedy in June, where 44 people died and injuring over 250. What exactly should airports be doing? I can't stand that that uh, came into operation about three years ago, made it mandatory that all baggage screening machines must be LEDs compliance. That is, LEDs compliance means they are liquid explosive detection system compliance. Okay? So, there are equipment for screening liquids and powder. You know, they are expensive, but they are you know, uh, and it's, it's a standard now that all airports have to implement. For the International Air Transport Association, the challenge now is to keep people safe in the landside part of the airport and move people airside more quickly to mitigate risk. While the global airline body is issuing this directive, an airline operator and international passengers bear their minds. Airports have uh, international standard requirements concerning about securities, which they have to uh, uh, avail and qualify for it. So those qualifications are also a requirements in our, in our business where we evaluate them on intervals. So uh, the, whatever is, what's available right now for security has been workable with us. And also, we are also taking our extra measures of to enforce more security issues and items, and awareness creation with also the public and the communities in the uh, airport environment. So I want a policy whereby there will be a, one major to all. That sentiment kind of way someone is pulling down his luggage and you see someone just coming and because of the personality and 
they will just try to go and express and that's what I don't like about it. That person, it might be of that class, but his mind might not be the way the security men think. You know, you don't know his mission and you just put the express pass. It can be used, anybody can be used for, for threats and bomb issues and all that. So it's all those bomb stuff is a setup, so anybody can be used for it. As airports around the world make efforts to improve security, cost remains an important factor in this fight against terror. The head of the Euro Anti-Terror Group said the debt burden in the Belgian economy made it impossible for them to allocate sufficient resources to cyber intelligence. And this could be responsible for the gap that existed that allowed this operation to be, to be carried out. As the people organizing and carrying out criminal activities are rapidly becoming more sophisticated with their methods and techniques, some of the emerging threats to aviation security include insider threat and cyber attack. The insider threat can come in the form of an ex-employee, current employee, contracted worker or partner because they carry inside knowledge of the industry. An insider threat's true underlying motive can be frightening. Internal threats are capable of exploitation, tampering, theft and sabotage. With the world's increasing reliance on technology, cybersecurity is now a high priority. Cyber threats to computer systems on the ground and at the airport can cause flight delays, loss of power and a breakdown in communication between networks. Attacks to aircraft in the sky can mean disruptions to navigation systems, losing onboard aircraft control and loss of communication with the ground. According to experts, the gold standard for airport security is Israel, which exists in conflict with many of its neighbors in the Middle East. As a result, its airport screening process is especially rigorous, starting when travelers buy plane tickets to and from the country. In addition to the intelligence gathering and passenger scrutiny that travelers can't see, security checks take place on the road leading into Israel's largest airport, Tel Aviv Ben Gurion International Airport. Many are of the opinion that embracing this form of security may prove good for the benefit of all on the long run.